Welcome everybody, welcome back. Welcome back to Main Street Fire Rescue. We are in service once again. We are at Hollywood Studios today. I've got something fun I'm gonna do. We're gonna have fun on William Falcon Smuggler's Run. That's all I'm gonna do. It's a very busy day today. And we're gonna go have some fun at Hollywood Studios today. And we're gonna go play on William Falcon Smuggler's Run and I'm gonna show you how to ride this thing on a very busy day. Well, I even caught, I'm not, not even, I am not even exempt from the blue light of death. I made a reservation while still at work and I came in and, oh, blue light of death. And the, the cast members were really nice about it, but it's like, yeah, you didn't make a reservation. I'm like, I did. <laughs> I watched myself make it. Oh, well, things happen. All right, we're going off to Millennium Falcon Smuggler's Run. Kids staring at cell phones. That's brilliant, man. Spend four, $200 a day for your kid to be staring at cell phones. That's just fantastic. This is actually going to work out great today with this Millennium Falcon Smuggler's Run. This current wait time of 85 to 90 minutes, so... I'm going to show you how, once you've ridden it and you've piloted it and you've been there, done that, got that t-shirt, I'm going to show you how to have some fun with this ride. Aha, found it. Let's go take a look. So show you how to do this. Not many people point this out. Right here. So, so it's down to 65 now. That's still a decent time. A single rider right through here. Thank you. Now watch, this will be the one time it'll be crowded as shit in here. So far so good. Nobody uses the single rider on this at all. So you have two ways you can go when you get to this point, it's point of decision. They always seem to have that light lit. Every now and then that one will be on, but you can go one of two ways. You can go to the right, or you can go off to the left. Most people walk right past this, they don't even know it's here. And it all goes to the same place. Nobody on the jetway. That's crazy. This whole group in front of me is all single riders. They're all gonna get right. They're gonna get to ride together. That's pretty cool. Oh, the one time when single riders actually get a chance to fly. And here comes the masses. <laughs> Not too shabby. It took about three minutes. Get out of here and go make out those of money. Here we go. All bags on the floor in front of you. Right, engineer. Repair test. It's your flashing button. You'd better be fast, double. You can't leave the truck. All right, let's go. Push the flashing button to take off. <laughs> oh, we're hitting shit already. <laughs> oh my god! That was a we're, we're in pieces. Oh, that was a big rock. <laughs> oh, dear god. Oh, this is gonna be a rough flight. <laughs> I didn't even know you could fly over here. Still good. There it is. After that plane. All right. Flying engineers. Let's get it. All right, we got it. Shoot the cargo. Oh. 
Oh, oh, oh shit! Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! Okay! Oh, oh Jesus! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yes! You got one! Excellent, my friends! Now power up the ship! Well, I grab the gold axiom! You see, just as I promised, my friend. Oh, that was a big wall. Alright, let's get another one. Line up behind the train so we can harpoon that last car. Right, engineers. Here we go. Fire the harpoons and reel us in. Now we got it. Yes! Keep bashing those controls! We got it! We got it! Yes! Good job, my Yes, yes, yes! We got the go out here! I will Let's get another one. Keep up the uh oh. Oh, that's ridiculous. Oh, shit. Oh, God. Oh, Ah! <laughs> the Star Destroyer is collapsing! Uh oh! Let's find it! Oh shit! Boost! Boost! Oh, boost! boost. Oh. Let's get out of here! Nice. Oh, <laughs> big rock. Yes, Chewie will pilot You retrieve two containers of coaxia. This will greatly help the resistance. You have heard the first order and made Chewie proud. Nice. You, now, after my modest profit, your gut minus what you owe me for damaging the Falcon is. Hey, not bad. Damage report. <laughs> Engine failure. All right. Hyperdrive leak. Mm, that is not too good. <laughs> Multiple hull ruptures. Well, it could be worse. Life support failure. That. Okay, that's something. Yeah, I'm just going to cut you off there. It might be faster if you list the parts that are not damaged. <laughs> That was incredible. We had a great flight crew. They got the hang of it. We got that second uh, container of coaxio. But yeah, it's always fun when you ride with people that are that are fun. Like I've been in some where people just don't say a word. It's very quiet. Like that's so fun. So we're gonna go do this again. Like I said, we're still hovering around 65, 70 minute wait. Yep. Here we go. One more time. <laughs> Let's do it again. Now you've already seen this. I'll see you upstairs. Uh, see, second time through now, both lights are on. Interesting. The cast member that was up there, we were talking about the single rider thing, and she said that she had a personal best yesterday as she came here off work. She rode this thing 23 times. That's impressive. That's pretty good. Yeah, look, nobody here. One of the Easter eggs that they hid throughout this attraction, and I think it might be even the land, is these uh, pork nests. They're all over the place. I have to look and see if there's a scavenger hunt for the pork nests. I haven't been down to this one yet, so there's multiple ways you can board this thing. This, is a, this ride moves a ton of people. We're going to the left side this time. All right. Oh, this is going to be fun. Oh, man. This is going to be interesting. Oh, man. This could be a rough ride. Right, pilot. Push the flashing button to take off. Oh, 
off we go. Move your stick to fly right and left. Oh, shit. Oh, my God, we're going to crash into the town. Oh, dear God. Oh. So the pilot. <laughs> Oh dear God. Oh dear God. Oh, this is bad. So the, the Oh man, this is not good. <laughs> Oh shit. Oh man. Okay. Is, Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh my god. Oh Jesus. Alright, we might have a chance. My god. Jesus Christ. Oh, my friends, that could have been much worse. Okay, it's much worse. Oh, my God. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you got well, I have the whole <laughs> You see, just as I promised, my friend. Let's get another container of coaxia. Pilot, oh, line up behind the train so we can harpoon that last car. Get behind the train. Got it. Shoot the train. <laughs> yes, keep bashing those controls. Oh, so close. Keep reeling. We almost got it. Jesus Christ! I can't even hit the buttons! <laughs> Fire the missiles at the train! Hurry! This is gonna be a lesson on how not to fly this thing. Oh my god! Let's pilot! Hit the boost! 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 We made it! I don't believe it, but we made it! No! Let's get out of here! Oh dear God. Yes, Julie will buy the remote. You retrieve one container of Copaxia. This would greatly help the resistance. You have heard the first order and made Chewy proud. Now I modest prophet. Your God, oh, this is going to be good. You owe me for damaging the Falcon is. Oh, that is rough. <laughs> Scoundrel. <laughs> That's bad. That's real bad. Yeah, I don't think I don't think I've been a scoundrel before. Scan the exterior of the Falcon for life forms. You see, this happens sometimes when you travel through uncharted regions of the galaxy as much as I do. It is not unusual to find a stray species or two clinging to the heart. It's okay. But keep looking. Whoa! Looks like we are ready to unload! All available tests, we have a brilliant freighter that needs immediate transport back to the maintenance bay. This thing is practically scrap metal. <laughs> okay, we gotta talk about that. What a flight that was. But get outside first. <laughs> Holy crap. My back has definitely been reorganized. I tell you, if you need your back cracked or a chiropractor, ride the Millennium Falcon with people who have no idea what they're doing. You will get your back fixed in no problem. Alright, 
So the issue with this ride is, you're riding with first timers that have no idea what they're doing, that you gotta realize that when you're flying this thing, and it's okay, I don't want people to think I'm like coming at it, I'm not, it's just, it's just, it's always, your experience if you're not flying is always dependent upon who's flying this thing and how good they are with video game style controllers because when you're flying this, it's very much like video games. It's up is down, down is up. And the, the girl flying thought up is up and she kept holding the, 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 the joystick, the, the, thr the she kept holding the, um, the flight stick in the up position which kept plowing us into the ground. So he literally spent the entire, the entire experience like just scraping across the ground and running into absolutely everything. So it was an experience. So that was it. So yeah, if you're flying into the pilot, up is down, down is up. And I think it's left and right is normal. It's been a while since I've flown that thing. But yeah, if you're not flying, your experience is very much based on who's gonna, who's in charge up front. And if they're not sure the style of video game controlling, you're gonna spend a lot of your time scraping across the ground. <laughs> that, was, that was an experience. I cannot believe how continuously busy it has been. There have literally been, since Christmas, been no breaks. There was maybe one or two days where there wasn't that many people, but every single day, it's just been freaking jam-packed with people. It's been crazy. And then again, online, you got all these people. I don't know if they're flexing or just bragging or just telling people like the money they're spending. There was one that just said they just got back from a seven-day vacation and dropped twenty thousand dollars. So twenty thousand for seven days. Even if think about it, even if that person makes a hundred thousand a year take home that they've just spent 20% of their annual salary for seven days of a vacation. Man, it's still crowded. Unbelievable. The one thing I will say about the Millennium Falcon ride is just like the um, Pandora's Flight of Passage, the rides need to be refurbed a little bit because I don't think they have. The, the uh, video is starting to skip. It's blurry in some areas. And just a tiny skip in the video like that, especially when you're doing like a, like, it's not quite virtual reality, but it's, you feel like you're out there flying. When that video skips, man, if, they, if you're sensitive to motion in that, that can F you up real fast. Because I noticed the first time I wrote it today, there were some areas that were super blurry. I'm like this, it's not a 3D, <laughs> it's not a 3D ride, but it looked like it. And then it cleared up, and then there were some spots where it skipped around. You know, you gotta, you gotta fix that stuff. Just like Flight of Passage. Flight of Passage needs a, I think it's the glasses that need fixed. So again, you got all these people paying all this money. Granted, nothing can ever be 100%, just because that's just how things go. But when you're spending 200 plus dollars a day, this stuff better be very close to flawless. The people, I'm telling you, don't do that. You wanna get your ass hurt? Right there. And that'd be the type of person falls off that fence and then goes and sues Disney. 